Yo guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be diving into Rotoscope 3.0, the updated Rotoscope. So if you haven't got it yet, you just need to go into your Creative Cloud and download After Effects Beta. Make sure you have the latest version, because if you don't, this won't work. So cool. You go into your rotor brush setting, same as 2.0, and start making your rotor brush. You're going to notice it says 3.0 here, and you can't change the quality. So the quality is always in best. So this process seems quite similar. I'm not sure if this is better than 2.0 right now, but let's see. I'm really intrigued to see like how well it actually does in comparison to 2.0 because with all these new like AI developments, I'm hoping this is like crazy. Okay, it's doing all right. Okay, it's done a pretty good job. It got a little bit shaky around the head halfway through. A little bit of the hat was lost, but not too bad. Okay, let's freeze this. While this is freezing, I'm just going to open up normal after effects and i'm gonna do the exact same shot and let's just see the comparison between the two okay so we've got the exact same clip in normal effects now let's see how rotoscope 2.0 performs your plug for is a jello runs so I Okay, I'm starting to see it's already missed out part of the hand. Which kind of sucks. So this is Rotoscope 2.0. You can see like it's, it's selecting the kettle. It's missed out on some of the hand. But let's compare them side by side.